In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use Affinity Designer to create these line style letter logos with a variable weight stroke, as you can see that I've done here in my example. Before we get started though, be sure to join my mailing list to receive over 200 free design templates, including logos, avatars, infographics, textures, and so much more. As a subscriber, you'll be the first to receive the free templates that I send out each month. I'll have some information about that down below if you wanna check that out. And now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with a blank document and I'm gonna grab my text tool and I'm gonna click and drag to create a nice large text item. And you can use whatever letter you'd like. For my example, I'm just gonna use a capital letter N. For this design, you're gonna to wanna to use a really bold heavyweight font. I would recommend using Montserrat Black, which is a free font if you wanna download and install that. I'm just gonna change my font up here. I'm gonna type in M-O-N-T until I find it. There it is and I'm gonna change the weight to black, which is the heaviest weight there is. Now I'm gonna grab my selection tool and I'm going to convert this letter to curves. So I will go to layer and I will go to convert to curves. And then I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this layer just so I can see through it as I'm working with other objects. So I'll come over here to the layers menu and I'm gonna take the opacity slider and bring it down in half and then close out of that. And now I'm gonna create some diagonal lines going across the letter N here. So let me grab my pen tool, which is located over here. You can also access it by pressing the letter P on your keyboard. And I wanna bring my pen, I wanna bring my cursor pretty far outside of the letter and click once to add a point and then hold my shift key and bring the line straight across like this. Let me move over a little bit. Bring the line straight across like this. We wanna make a nice large line like that. And then I'll go back to my selection tool and now we have a line that we can place right above the, to the top left corner of the letter. Bring your line over the letter like this and make sure it goes over the letter entirely. If it's too short where part of the letter sticks out, you'll wanna delete that line and create another one that's longer. We're gonna need a really long line for what we're about to do here. So now that that's done, I'm gonna come over here to my stroke tab and I'm gonna take the stroke width and I'm gonna bring that up. And now I'm gonna change the properties or the pressure of this stroke by coming over here to the pressure button. I'm going to click on that and we're going to get this menu and I'm going to click on this part of the line right here to add a new point and I'm going to take this part and bring this all the way in like that. And what that's going to do, I'll click out of that to close it. That's going to take the line and make it thicker on this end and thinner on that end and now we could take the size of the stroke and bring that up a little more. And what I will do now is I'm going to hold my option key, or that would be Alt if you're on Windows, and I'm gonna click and drag the line to make a copy of it, and then I'm gonna hold my Shift key after I do that, and make sure I bring the line down and to the right like that. And I'm gonna bring this line down about that far until there's about that much space between the two lines right there. And before I click off of anything, I'm just gonna press Command J or Control J if you're in Windows. I'm gonna press that repeatedly until we get a bunch of those lines going across the letter like that. And that right there is the effect we're going for. And what, once that's done, let's select everything, click and drag over everything you see here. And I'm gonna to go to the Shape Builder tool and I wanna select the minus option. And now I'm just gonna go through here and draw a line going through these parts of the lines that stick out from the letter to remove them. And as you can see, the effect is starting to come together. So let me remove this as well. And I'll come in here, let me zoom in a little bit. If this thing will cooperate, there we go. I will remove these lines as well. And now it's looking pretty good. So let me go to my selection tool. Let me click off of this to deselect everything. And I wanna click on just the letter and press the delete key to get rid of that. We no longer need the letter. And what you could do now is you could select all of these objects and you can change the width. You can make it thicker or thinner, however, looks, however it looks best. And if you want to apply color to it, like I did with mine over here, what you could do is you can merge these curves together by going to Layer, Geometry, and selecting Merge Curves. And now you can go to your Gradient tool, which is located over here. And up here in the Context option, choose Stroke, and then choose Linear for the type. And now you can click on each of these two stops right here and apply a color. So for this one, I will make this one a shade of yellow. Let me come over here into my color tab and I will change this to a light shade of yellow or maybe even like an orange-ish shade. And then over here, I will make this one pink or orange, pink or red. 
something closer to pink like that works pretty well. And I'll bring that out like this, and I'll bring that out over there. And there we go. Just like that, we have created a line style letter logo. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're gonna use this, if you're gonna scale this object up, you're gonna notice the lines get thinner, and if you scale it down, the lines get thicker. If you wanna maintain the aspect ratio while scaling, what you wanna do is come over here to the Stroke tab and check this box that says Scale with Object. And now you can scale your object up and down without losing those proportions. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.